All right, we're making billions of dollars and that's still not enough. We need to figure out how we can make even more money from our users. You mean even more money than we already charge for transactions? Yes, we're just making peanuts. We need to find a way to massively spike our profits by asserting more control over our users as people. Well, that'll be tough to think of in a way that's ethical. I've got an idea. Yes, Cletus, what is it? Well, what if we treat our users like they're criminals? I like where you're going with this. Say more. Yeah, like what if we fine our users $2,500? Find them for what? We fine them $2,500 anytime they speak misinformation. And who determines what this misinformation is? We do. I like it. Well, even if we find them, sir, no one's gonna just willingly pay us for a fine like that. They won't have to. We take it from them by directly debiting their accounts because we hold all their money. What do the numbers on this look like? I don't think that's a good idea. Silence! Cletus, what do our projections on this look like? Well, we have 429 million users and we determine what misinformation is based on the working definition of Misinformation is anything we disagree with. Then we correlate that with a statistical analysis we ran of how many people will eventually say something that we disagree with, and we find that's all of them. Then we take all of them, our 429 million users, and multiply that by the misinformation fine slash take of $2,500, and that equals $1,072,500,000,000 in new revenue. That is amazing. Are there any downsides to this policy? None that I've been able to think of. Exactly, no downsides at all. I think this is a bad idea. Put this out of the new terms of service immediately. Sure thing, boss. Okay, so it turns out there was a downside we didn't think of. Really? What's that? We're getting major backlash. People don't like the policy. Who cares what people like? This is amazing for us. We ran the numbers. Excellent point, sir. But we're hemorrhaging users. People are closing their accounts left and right. No longer using PayPal. Who told these people they could just stop using PayPal? They can't just do that. They actually can. I didn't know they could just do that. Well, they need to stop it because I don't like that they're doing that. But they are. It looks like this new scheme to make us a lot more money by serving our users much better with this new policy could end up costing us a lot if we don't act fast. All right, we need to backtrack fast. We need a statement that's gonna win back the trust of our users and keep them on the platform. Cletus, any ideas? Yeah, we could just tell people we did it by accident. That's brilliant. They'll definitely go for that. I don't think they will. How would that sound? I've already written up our statement, sir. PayPal is not finding people for misinformation and this language was never intended to be inserted in our policy. We're sorry for the confusion this has caused. That's perfect. Did you write that in crayon? Publish it. Well, have we fully recovered yet? It looks like our statement didn't exactly work, sir. What do you mean? Well, things have gotten even worse. We've lost $6 billion in market cap. How could that be? We told these morons we didn't mean to do the thing that we deliberately did. Yeah, but it's almost like they somehow just know. They're still leaving the platform in droves because they know what we're about. I can't believe our statement didn't work. We're powerful big tech and our users are just moronic people. Another great point, sir. But it looks like when people unite, they're seemingly more powerful than we are. Enough of your kumbaya hippie bullshit. Losing $6 billion in market cap almost overnight? We need a new strategy to boost our revenue and fast. We could find people for trying to leave the platform. Say more about that. 